Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with something that's definitely on the life and stuff part of the scale. Today is a pepper powder tasting. Mm. Now, pepper powders, I've got a spoon in this one so that I can spoon some more out in a minute. Uh, this comes from jppepperseeds.com. Now, Jimmy Pickles, JP Pepper Seeds, Jimmy Pickles is his nickname, his name is actually Jim Morrow. He is an awesome businessman. He sells isolated pepper seeds. He does not sell the powders. The powders are something that he'll make like at the end of the season and uh, he's got the peppers. Let's dry them out, make them into a powder so we can season things. And he's let some of us sort of podcaster people try some so we can get the taste of the peppers without, you know, having to grow them ourselves first. Now what you can do is you can take information that I've given you from this and decide, hey, I want to grow this. And where you get your seeds, jppepperseeds.com. They're isolated. Now this pepper here is the Trinidad perfume and you can kind of see from that picture that looks like a gnarly little habanero doesn't it? Looks can deceive. This one says, I'm going to read right here from his website on my laptop, Trinidad perfume heirloom. It's a capsicum chinense mild. Okay. This pepper which originates from Trinidad, very low heat, sweet, and does have a low perfume aroma. High yields on this one, he says, a perfect snack pepper. So it's one that kind of looks like a habanero, but you know, you can fool your friends with it, I guess. Um, this one, when I opened it up, it did not give me that smack in the head heat smell like I get from a lot of them, but you can smell the pepper. Oh, it smells really nice. It's gonna be really good. My mouth is watering, okay, thinking about this one. Now what I have done is, I still don't have my not Ritz crackers because I've been to the store three times already and just keep forgetting to pick them up. Yeah, go me, right? I've got pretzels. You can see the plate full of them because I have a friend over here who likes chilies and stuff. He's going to be tasting as well. I have got three pretzels for each of us with a little bit of pepper powder, a medium amount, and a whole bunch. You know, have them in order. Have some blank ones so that we can just cleanse our palates, cream cheese and pretzels. And as a bonus, I've got some blueberry pie that I had taken a bite of earlier. And I'm like, you know, I bet that would be good with some pepper powder. Y'all are turning me into a chili head, okay? <sighs> you said it would happen. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this party started. I'm going to turn the plate so that... This is your light, medium, high. This is my light, medium, high. Let's just start from that side. This is what I have on there. Not a whole lot. Let's put it on the tongue, see what happens. I feel the tiniest, tiniest little bit of heat. And that's because I set it straight on my tongue and I let it dissolve into my tongue a little bit, I think. Um, it's very mild. You get a light hint of some pepper in there, but it's not very strong either. It's it's a very mild pepper. What do you think? Mild. Mild. Now, of course, when you have a powder form, it is concentrated as well. So, oh, it's building a little bit. There's a little heat. Snaky. So it's low heat. And it is low heat. I mean, it's not melting my face off, but I can feel it as I swallow it. It's going in the back of my throat a little bit. Yay. Um, but yeah, not bad. Let's try the next one up. Amp it up just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to grab my <clears throat> tea that I have over here that I've been drinking all day. Why do I have such a big thing of tea? Because I went to the store earlier and the regular size, like what, 16 ounce bottle or whatever, was two bucks. This one, which is two quarts, was two forty nine. Yeah. I'll just drink on it all day. It's all good. Diet, green tea, citrus. I really like it. Ah, just thirsty. Want some? Okay, let's go to, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, 
Lot O powder. All right. Hmm. Not like watching somebody chew on video, right? <laughs> This would be great mixed into a barbecue sauce for just that little tiny bit of heat because not everybody likes a ton of heat. I know some of you guys out there are like, give me all the infinite Scovilles or whatever, <clears throat> but not everybody is like that. Thank you. So yeah, that mixed in with, um, with some barbecue sauce, especially the barbecue sauce that I had last week, that would be really good. Only that bottle is gone. Okay, let me take, oh, what I need to do now, I'm gonna close this up. I'm not gonna take some straight on the tongue today because I want to have some on some pie, blueberry pie. So I shouldn't have sealed it up, I'm a doofus. I don't know what I was thinking, I wasn't thinking. We'll see if I can get it back open again. I sealed it up because I'm so smart. I had to have somebody open this for me a minute ago. I think I got it. Okay, it's back open. All right. Here, let me set this down before I completely lose it. I want some of the blueberries in the blueberry pie, and then you can do the same, of course. See if I can tap some out with my left hand. That's not going to work. Let's switch hands. I'm being laughed at now. Quietly, but laughed at nonetheless. Here you go. What I have done, I have got a bite of blueberry pie. There is some pepper powder on there. Let's see how it melts with blueberry. It plays nice with the sweetness. My friend over here has just put straight powder on his tongue because he wanted to. Because it's, it's not that hot. Um, but it does play nice with the pie. Wow. Have a bite of pie. Put, put some on there. Here's a fresh spoon so that you can get the powder out of it. Or are you just going to have some pie? <laughs> He's just going to have some pie. Yeah. That's pretty good on there. Have you ever put anything hot on something sweet? Mm. I love blueberries anyway. Blueberry pie is delicious. There was a sale when I went to the store today. Well, not a sale. They had some pies from, from the bakery department already made up. They were regular like $6.98. And I'm too cheap to pay that, of course. But they had two $2 off stickers on there. And at that store, that takes $4 off. I went, yeah, okay. I'll take some pie home. Yes. The, if you don't like super hot super hots even this one which might be too hot for some people um my hubby is not a big fan of spice at all and he would not even try this but mixed with the sweetness just a little bit might be a little more palatable maybe that's some way that you can try it because you don't have to be a pepper head or a chili head to eat some of these hot peppers if you grind them up if you dry them grow them grind them up into a pepper into a powder that is use them in a shaker, just put them on a little bit on stuff or mix them in with other spices. It's a whole different world. You're not just, here, let me eat this ghost pepper. I'm, I'm, I'm out. No, That's, this girl's not doing that, okay? But I am growing some peppers. That's right. You know where I got the seeds? jppepperseeds.com. Yep. Jimmy Pickles, he will get your order out quickly. He always sends extras, which is awesome. Um, and you know, the the it'll say 10 isolated seeds on there. I have not yet had a packet that just had 10 seeds and I've bought a bunch of them. 
they've always got a couple of more plus they'll set extra packets of something a little different maybe to get you to try something else yeah I'm growing stuff that I got sent for free because I had no idea I, when I first started this little journey I had zero idea a zero idea how to grow anything and I'm looking over there at my little grow area I've got a little seedling heat mat I'm start I just started some more stuff fresh and I've repotted some other stuff um, I've got sangria peppers growing yes um, Alma paprikas. I'm trying to see what's oh Brazilian starfish red. My little Brazilian starfish red plants look so good right now. I'm so proud of myself. Yes, patting myself on the back. Um, and I'm looking so forward to be able to get them into some real dirt and get them outside, um, so that I can have you know some awesome little peppers out of those because look up Brazilian starfish red. I know that's not what we're talking about today, but the peppers are so cool looking. They really are. And I've had some of the powder and it was sweet and delightful and I want more. I want more. Yes. This powder though, if you like a little bit of heat, I would say it is not as hot as a jalapeno, not nearly. So if a jalapeno is about as much as you can take, check this out. You can impress your friends because it looks like a habanero. It's a Trinidad perfume. It doesn't have the heat of the habanero or of the seven pots or any of those or of the ghost pepper or whatever. None of those. This is way mild compared to those. It's mild compared to a jalapeno, some jalapenos. I've had an experience with a hot jalapeno before. Y'all, jalapenos vary wildly. Whoa. But anyhow, this, you could try this. Brazilian starfish red is another one because like I said, I'm not, I'm not a chili head. Um, but there are some mild varieties. If you go to jppepperseeds.com and look, you can sort and search by low heat, medium heat, super hots, and all of that. And you get the satisfaction of growing it yourself. I am proud of myself that I have some green stuff happening over there. Okay. I always thought I had a black thumb. Apparently people were just sabotaging my stuff because stuff is growing for me, y'all. And I've learned so much from this community here on YouTube. The pepper community, bunch of fun folks. The gardening community, bunch of fun folks. The crochet community, bunch of fun folks. I've learned so much. So take the resources that we have at hand. Check out some people that are stand-up business people. Uh, Jim Morrow at jppepperseeds.com. And he will take care of you for your seed needs. And everybody else, I mean, he'll answer questions on his lives and stuff too. But just get involved. Try to grow something. Just start small. A little bit. I have my little area in my dining room, okay? It's a table that's uh, yay by yay. It's not big. And I've got a little heat mat on there, a seedling mat. And right now I have red solo cups inside of other cups to use the double cup method, which I learned about on the YouTubes from you lovely folks. And I've got other seeds starting in their little seedling things. I'm excited. More peppers. If you want to see my pepper growth stuff, my progress, my vloggy videos on Saturdays at the very end, I've been putting a little slideshow of just what I have going and stuff. And uh, yeah, you can see my progress and see why I'm so tickled. Anyhow, thank you for coming by. See, no tears today. Yes, not a lot of snot today. No more than usual because of my sinuses and everything starting to bloom outside. I'm in Georgia after all. So there is that. Um but enjoyed it enjoyed trinidad perfume thank you jimmy pickles i'm almost out of pepper powders i have a grand total of one left one that kind of makes me sad because this has been so much fun to do but i will find something else to uh tickle my taste buds and my apparent need for capsaicin now yeah <laughs> see y'all very very soon bye now